Hey Flosstube, it's Sarah. I know it looks a little different because I'm all by myself, but mom is fixing to have a root canal tomorrow, so I'm filling in while she is getting ready. Look how rosy my face is because I'm dying. Not really dying, but I have a horrible... I have a broken molar. I'm having a root canal bright and early tomorrow, so Sarah's going to handle you guys for tonight. I love y'all. Thank you. So, in good news, aside from a root canal, we have some shop update goodness. So, I know it's been a while since I've seen you guys, but I'm ready to hop right back in. This is a real life video. We got no makeup. We're greasy. It's nighttime. We're live. Not really. We kicked Dan outside. We kicked Dan outside. Okay, so let's start with some new Lizzie Kate that we have in. Um, we have the Lizzie Kate Snow Story snow love and then <laughs> I feel like we definitely heard that and then the Lizzie Kate snow story cold hands and it goes with the warm hearts so you can stitch this they have it right here we show you can stitch it all together so cute. which is super cute and then we have the Lizzie Kate 2011 snippet ornaments cute 2012. I'm going to be kind of going through these a little swiftly. Rapid fire. Rapid fire. I'm going to sit here next to you and stitch. Over this here. one's cute. Ghosties and ghoulies. So those are the tingles. Cute. We got all the Halloween tingles. Yep, I'll go ahead and go through the rest of those right here. This is the Lizzie Kate Tingles Just Batty. Um, it's Hollow Scream and Toil and Trouble. So I think with these you get two. Most of these. Yeah. And then the October 31st and Jack o' Lantern Lizzie Kate Tingles. Then the last one, it's Halloween and Fright Night. And then we have the Lizzie Kate Spooky String. Which. Cute. All right, now we have the Farmhouse Christmas Dairy Darling. New release. New release. Ooh. Very cute. Sorry for the glare. We have some <laughs> improv ot light lighting <laughs> tonight. It's the ho uh, hometown holidays. Yep, hometown holidays. Super cute. I love the little chicken. Is there, is there a chicken? Yeah, it's sitting on a little red wagon. Cute. Cute, cute. Um, oh, I love this one. I saw this one and I absolutely loved it. The Silver Creek Samplers um, ref Refreshing Coastal Cola. It just looks like summer. Yes, and I have grown up in the beach. In the beach? On the beach. <laughs> so this one just is very appealing. I like little sand castles. So cute. Um, Country Cottage No Works Forest Deer. Welcome to the New forest. Release. That's the second one in the... Uh, what's it called? Welcome to the forest. Oh yeah, that's the, yeah. Then we have the Little House Hometown Holiday Coffee Shop. New this release. one's new. Love, love, love. And there's some red birds. Yes. Put a bird on it. Amen. Um, next we have the Country Cottage, you know, works Sweet Land of Liberty. Now see, I would totally like primary color that up a little bit but I love yeah it. it's kind of pastel I think it would look cuter and some bright colors no but offense, you know I'm designers. always surprised I'm always super surprised when I see things and I'm like that looks funny in the picture and then somebody will stitch it as completely as it's charted and it'll look amazing. beautiful and amazing and I was like wow I was so wrong um Liberty Lane I know I think Priscilla and Chelsea are yep. stitching this right now and Priscilla definitely did a a color conversion to mm -hmm. her own favorites you can make that your own in a million different ways i look really creepy right now I'm like peering out from behind the start i'm i'm still here guys i'm just sitting next to sarah yeah. and i'm working on sally spencer because mania and because um mustang sally sampler so i'm still here guys if you hear me chiming in i just don't feel She's that trying great to talk to a minimum keep the yeah the jaw movement to a minimum so 
this next one, Silver Creek Samplers, is also kind of coastally and beachy. I know my ABCs. Yeah, that's a market release this year. Or my cute. ABCs, my bad. Love this one. Again, super cute. <clears throat> Another Silver Creek Samplers. This one is Dorothy's Discovery. What does that say? I'm going to read it. <clears throat> the power is there whenever you choose. It's found in the heart, not in your shoes. And it's got a little yellow brick road, some toto. Some toto. All right. Is this one in the shop, or do we not? Are you okay. sure? Or did that just find its way in there? I think that found its way in there. Yeah, I don't think Personal so stash sure. alert. Yeah, we were joking. We were like, her personal stash is as big as the shop inventory at this point. Basically. Um, some more Lizzie Kate's. Just a couple... Uh, we have Lizzie Kate, Hats Off to Halloween. I love that one. Delightful. Lizzie Kate, If You Live to Be 100. If You Live to Be 100, I Want to Live to Be 100 minus one day, so I never have to live a day without you. I mean, that's pretty selfish, but it's cute. <laughs> uh, Lizzie Kate, Cat Lessons for People. That one's cute. Dog lessons for people. Also Lizzie Kate. Love that one. I'm a dog person. Then we have the Lizzie Kate Red, White, and Beach. I like that one. And I'm These not... ones are very cute. I love this little guy. Mm -hmm. The little whale. I love whales. Cute. And the Lizzie Kate. Oh, we have two hats off to Halloween in here. Probably. Clerical error. Two hats off to Halloween. So, hold on. So, I, I wasn't really going to get a lot of Lizzie Kate, but I feel like the reason I did was because I think had I thought about Prairie Moon, for example, before all the Prairie Moons retired and went away, I... I think I would kind of regret owning a shop and not buying Lizzie Kate's when, you know, Lizzie Kate is ha, is no longer producing. So that's why I did it. It's not really the typical stuff we would carry in the shop, but I figured you guys would like the opportunity and I wanted the opportunity to collect a few. So that that's why I went with that. And we've got some in stock. Um, lots of them loaded. All these, everything Sarah's showing you is loaded on the shop and there's a lot more to still be loaded. Um, so, you know, make sure you get them before they do run out. And then we're in the Prairie Moon situation where they're $75 or $100 on eBay, which is ridiculous. But um, anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know. I, I know that I had said initially that I was done trying to fight the Lizzie Kate fight and get stuff that was out of stock. But when I had the chance, I, I grabbed some. Okay. <clears throat> and then Blackbird Designs, Midnight Watch. Cute. Got some Teresa Kogut, Kogut, mm -hmm. uh, cross. What is it called? Funky chicken. I like search for the Lisa name. Sparkman. You need that. This one. You kind of reminds me like a groovy like anybody watch that '70s show. You know, like their kitchen. It reminds me like the that '70s show kitchen like groovy look. I dig it. All right, then we have the Let Freedom Ring, Teresa Coca chart. Pam and Steph, if you don't have that, you need it. Because patriotic. And the God is Good, Teresa Coca chart. Also, what do you have on there? Chickens, rooster, cat, cat, patriotic. You know what's not on there? A dog. There's two little birds down here. Well, since there's enough birds, we can overlook it. <laughs> Elbow. <laughs> Funny bone. All right, now we got some Shakespeare's Peddler, The Good Shepherd. This is the Ginny Bean for the Parlor Part 4. New release. New release. I look, it probably looks like there's, like, this all-knowing voice, but That's she's right. right behind the camera. I'm right here trying she's... to stitch on 40 count for the first time in my life, and it's it's interesting. She's doing it, though. 
I'm just doing, doing it. it. Working One hard. One over two on 40 count. Oh just my. Just doing it. Heck. It looks beautiful though. I feel like you guys are really going to like, like the outcome. Okay, so. Shakespeare Cuddler. Delightful. Jenny Bean. We love Jenny Bean. Teresa, you're a genius. Alright, and then speaking these are also... Genius, speaking of Teresa the genius. We have some razor roof designs, which are Teresa from Shakespeare's Peddler. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is Jolly Joy Jingle. Is this the clothesline? Oh no, that's the... I love no. that guy. I'll let you know when it's the clothesline. I know you like that. Um, this one is super cute. Turkey dressing. Like pilgrim clothes. <laughs> they have to wash their clothes too. I know. It's so cute. I love that one. The little pumpkins. Alright, and then we have Pumpkin Joe. I tend to really like things. I'm not a huge, like, Halloween person. I love Halloween, but at the same time, like, I kind of gravitate more towards Christmas stuff. But I love when people stitch things on orange fabric. Also, how I many how many colors is in that? Two. Two colors. And it's, I'm pretty sure it's orange and black. So. That's, like, basically stress-free stitching right there. Be a good on the go. Mm -hmm. Little stitch. <clears throat> Then, um, Peter's Cotton Knits. Oh, so cute. This one's cute. I don't know how Teresa just, like, came up with I know she had a partner that she worked with on these, but it's, like, the genius to just think of how cute their little clothes would be on a line. Uh-huh. I, again, I love this fabric. Um, this is Summer Sky Joblin by Witchell, and I just, looks like a summer sky. And then this is Santa's clothes. Mm -hmm. I like that one. So, so cute. cute. It's, got, it's got his little boxers hanging up. His delicates. I think that one's adorable. Who is it? Is that Santa's clothes? Mm -hmm. Cute. And then we have Witchy Washy, which is a witch's clothes. Again, they got her little delicates hanging up. I know Bendy did that already. This one is, again, super cute. And I love how they have the little touch of it all of them. They have the shoes at the bottom, too, and, like, little, I don't know, very detail-oriented. I this like is this old, one. kicking it old school right here. This I mean, one. this was drawn with, is that drawn with a Sharpie? I'm pretty sure, Teresa, yeah. Teresa, did you draw that with a Sharpie? You know what I love about this one? Okay, this is called Sam Socks Shorts and Such. This is a printed out, like, 5 by 7 photograph, probably printed from, like, a Walgreens or a Walmart, and then it's taped on what looks like a piece <laughs> of cardstock that the logo was drawn in Sharpie on. And I love it. I think it's so cute. Yeah, that's collectible right there. Very, very pretty. And it looks great. It's still really good quality. How many colors is in that, does it say? <clears throat> um, it has the overdyed on the oh. back, but I think it's way more than that. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a big it's a big chart. What's but the count on that? It's worth it. What does it, does it tell you? Oh, my on the inside. One ninety seven by one hundred one. Yeah, that's a pretty good size. Yep. It's cute. Love, yeah. love, love, love. Okay. Okay. So this was that was really fast. We're only at like thirteen minutes. There is literally cases of stuff sitting here in the kitchen that needs to be inventoried, added to the shop, and we'll be back for another video. It may be Sarah. I don't know. Probably. She's getting the root canal tomorrow. So I, I mean, look. I look like a pink rosy mess. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for all of your kind words and well wishes over the past few days and your understanding. And hopefully, I'll be back to normal soon. Bye, Flossie. Bye. Too.